Hello friends, welcome back to Smriti Notes for Biotechnology. In today's video, we will learn about second generation sequencing. That is basically of two types that is pyro sequencing and virtual terminator sequencing. For the conventional sequencing methods, you can go to the back to the previous part and have a look at it. And guys, if you find my handmade notes useful, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe and do press the bell icon. So let's start with pyro sequencing. As in the earlier video, I'll be sharing all the notes which I have. So you guys have a choice of choosing whatever suits you or you get a better understanding. So pyro sequencing is light based. Now you can see the fragments of DNA are joined by adapter that enables the DNA to attach small metallic beads that are called as biotin. They are labeled as 5' end and they are coated with streptavidin. And the single stranded DNA is attached to the solid surface called as bead. Now this is the structure of beads as you can see it contains small DNA fragments that are complementary to the adapter. Do draw small small diagrams wherever necessary. It will help in the better understanding of teacher that you guys have a clear knowledge about the concept. Now every time when DNA polymerization take place then the pyrophosphate is released. I'll be showing in the next slide in detail the diagram. You guys can go through the diagram that shows how the, how the pyrophosphate is being released. Do draw this diagram. The luciferin in the presence of ATP and luciferase gets converted into light. And also it is not necessary that after every polymerization that the light will be there. Sometimes we have to use sensors that helps in detecting the light. These printed notes are much in detail so you guys for the bachelors you guys do not have to go in depth so much just write an overview about what is pyro sequencing and in the upcoming slides I'll be sharing the method and the difference between two go through it that will be more than sufficient for it. Now the pyro sequencing also helps in enabling hundreds and thousands of sequence that can be obtained at once. Try to make your own notes, open the slides and just write down some important points from it and try to assemble them into your things. Now this is the sequence, DNA fragmentation, then the adapter is binded, denaturation of fragments take place that is they get into single stranded DNA, they are fixed to a solid surface, then the beads have sequence that are complementary to the adapter. Earlier in the slides, it was just about everything, what is adapter, what is beads. Now this is the procedure, so this is important. And then finally you add DNA polymerase, DNA sulfurase, add luciferin and then we detect it with the sensor. Now here are some applications also mentioned, you can use them. Now next is virtual terminator sequencing. Now just like Sanger sequencing relies on the DDNTP to stop the PCR reaction, it rests on the reversible terminator basis. Now in this case they have cleavage enzyme that stops all the extra molecules off and then turns the RTA base into a normal functioning nucleotide. Now these are the steps, the adapter is added to both the ends, then the attachment of DNA to surface. The DNA gets denatured and binds to the adapter, bridge amplification and then both the strands are disassociated. This releases a linear structure. The DNA gets amplified and then we add the primer and a fluorescent dye that helps in the detection. So that is how virtual terminating sequencing takes place. Now this is the difference. This is very important. If you guys do not want to learn anything from the previous slides then do not but do learn this differences and go. If the question comes you can write this and this will help you get good marks. Very rarely they ask you to write the method and explain. Most of the time it comes in the difference form or explain second generation sequencing. So you guys must be aware of these two methods. In the next part, I'll be discussing about some more sequencing techniques like Illumina, Solexa and etc. If you find the video useful, then like, share and subscribe. Thank you.